Alright, this is Chris recording for Magic Gathering Shrine and PureMTGO.com. Uh, we're going to be running some Delver today. Going back with my nameship uh, archetype here. This is my favorite deck and popper to play for by far. Um, going a little bit different than what I'm comfortable with though, because I'm just doing a carbon copy of uh, XMMX's Delver. This is also ran by Jack Sad to great success in the premiere events in the Pauper Battle Royales hosted by Casting Commons. Um, so this is the, the deck list. We've got 16 lands, and I think that's a little bit ambitious, but I've already done pretty well with the deck today in my testing, so we're going to keep on going with it. We've got some bone splitters here, mostly that's to, uh, to hedge the mirror. Uh, we've got ponders. Uh, this is also really good against mono blue control. Four Ponders and four Preordains to stack our deck because we need fit. Two Cloudfin Raptors. Uh, that's sort of like the one card that I'm like, eh, I don't really know if that works in the deck. Four Delvers, obviously. Four Counterspells. We're running three Dazes because we pretty much always want one every every game. Three Snaps, pretty much for the same reasons. Uh, the four Cloud of Fairies, Spellstar Sprites, and Ninjas are pretty much just standard fare. Um, two Frostburn Weirds to put some defense down against like Stompy and Infect and Goblins and stuff like that. Got a single Gush. It's, al it's always nice to have one in a game, never nice to have two. Uh, then we've got three Spire Golems to, sh uh, to shore up defense. In the sideboard we've got three Coral Nets for White Weenie and uh, Stompy, also good against Infect. Curse of Chains is a catch-all against uh, creature decks. A single deprive in case I need like to counter mold drifters and stuff. Dispel for mono black control, which uses a lot of instant speed removal. Hydroblast for anything red. And three serrated arrows. I think this is also this is mostly for the side for uh, for mirror matchups, but it's also very, very good against uh, weenie decks, of course. And then we've got two steel sabotages for affinity. So that's the deck. It's pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory, although it's got a lot of play to it, and hopefully I'll be able to show that off to you a little bit. So thanks for watching.